Welcome, or welcome back. It took me about 30 seconds to mess up my one take tutorial, so I'm going to edit this now. <laughs> what we are going to do today is I'm going to show you how I made this transparent text in Krita. Shout out to Alexis Rose, who made this tutorial in Clip Studio Paint about creating this uh, translucent uh, text banner thingy. And my immediate reaction was that that is really nice. I want to do the same in Krita. Just like maybe take a step further. So what I'm about to show is a little bit more advanced than this one. But if you, you use Script Studio Paint, go ahead and check this one out. And it's pretty much going to work the same way in Krita. What I want to show is a little bit more complicated uh, way of doing this. First, I need to show you my layer docker that I always keep uh, outside of the recording area. First I'm going to really quickly explain it to the more advanced Krita users what you're seeing and then I will show it step by step. So for the veterans this is actually really simple. All you need is one clipping group and inside that clipping group you need a regular group that has inherit alpha turned on and you need the text that you want to use as a sample for your transparent text. Now I'm going to show you step by step how to set all of this up. First of all, you need your text that you want to turn transparent. You can use the basic text tool that is built in Krita and you know, create whatever you want with that. And you need an image that is going to be the background of the text. I'm going to use this giant Halloween picture. It was a 200 plus hours project that I made uh, last October and November. Yes, this is self-promotion, but obviously you will use it with your picture, so that is not important. First, get your text layer and you have to create a clipping group. You can do it by pressing Ctrl Shift G like this, Ctrl Shift G. You have a clipping group. It is going to immediately create one layer mask. You can delete that. And then you need to make a simple group for your image. You can do that by pressing Ctrl G and you have to put this group above the text layer within the clipping group and you need to turn on Inherit Alpha. What does that do? So if I turn this on, then everything that is inside this group is only going to be visible on the pixels that are occupied by any of the layers that are below this group. So the way this whole thing is structured, I could say that pretty much this is what I want and this is where I want it. Th that could have been the punchline of a dirty joke. <laughs> and now the cool part is that this is like a completely non-destructive method and you can always modify anything that you see. Anything that you put in this group is going to show up on your text. So I can do like a vignette effect on this and fade out these sides by simply putting another layer here and using my airbrush to add more to that. And you can uh, toggle this view with this button so you can always check out what your uh, your background picture is going to be and then you can turn it back on and uh, see what it's going to look like on the text. How can you make this white rectangle around the text? You can simply go and put whatever you want below your clipping group, not inside the clipping group, below it. And now if I do anything on this layer that is going to be visible underneath my text. So I can put this rectangle here and I can fill it with one color. We have the same banner effect. The other cool things, first of all, is that uh, you don't have to use a vector layer for your text. You can use any sort of layer. So you can just simply add another paint layer and paint on this one. And this is going to reveal whatever is inside the group that is above this layer. Actually, what you can also do is put these inside the group if you want to like really organize them. It is not necessary at all. I would generally do that. I'll just uh, show it this way for the sake of simplicity. And what if you want to recreate this effect where you have the picture both on the top and then the bottom and you just have this white strip in the middle that has uh, transparent letters on it. You can simply select these two parts with the rectangle selection tool and you fill them with any color and bam, there you have it. 
you can obviously make it more and more complex like right now i can uh, simply paint on this background behind my transparent text for example i can use ctrl plus click on this layer to select the two rectangular shapes that i just added fill them with black and lower the opacity and there you have it you have this uh, much more cinematic looking or whatever i should call it banner for yourself here's another idea get your text layer add a filter mask to it and a gaussian blur and now you can blur out the sides of these letters see before after and the absolutely coolest thing about working like this is that this thing is not a sticker that you you have to ev recreate every time when you want to modify the text this is literally a vector layer that has my text on it what it allows me to do is i can simply select my text and i can modify it on the go i can turn it into this little cute krita text and i can put it anywhere and it's going to reveal what's behind or actually wait for a second if i do this yes haha <laughs> you can play uh, like a little uh, flashlight game that you have this uh, flashlight that you're pointing at your picture and you can reveal what is what is behind this uh, layer of darkness and there we go like can you find all the hidden references on this dark picture with just your flashlight i went a little bit off real i feel like so the main thing here is that you can always modify your text layer and it's going to automatically apply the whole effect on the go so if you have like multiple versions of your text let's make a copy out of it let's turn on the underline and press save and now you have this different version already you can just switch back and forth between these so i can enter sylvester lazarus press the save and now this is as meta as I can get with this video, pretty much. Another cool thing that you can do is uh, if you just happen to have your three all-time favorite Harry Potter quotes on your clipboard, then you only need to press Ctrl V to insert those. And now this is going to be your new transparent text. I feel like I rambled way too much in this video, but I hope that I could help at least one or two people go ahead and uh, try out uh, your own transparent texts obviously include your own monster self-portrait that's a must and i really hope that i told everything i wanted in this video and i thank you very much for watching have a nice day do some art and most importantly don't forget to have fun by doing that farewell i'm thinking really hard what is that one thing that I'm forgetting that I will only realize at the editing space? Mm. I, I don't know. Meh. The other thing that you could do is simply just maybe if you really want to be really, really quick, what you can do is grab this layer, do a control left click on the thumbnail of it to select all the pixels that are on this layer and then click on your image and press ctrl c ctrl v and now you have like this really quick version of this picture but you can't edit this one unless you you know do this so if you're really rushing <laughs> then then i just then I, then I just showed this 10 minute video in 10 seconds so there you go.